Well, this rather complicated looking diagram represents the energy flows to and from the Earth's surface systems. Uh, I'll just walk you through the, um, the bits and pieces in this. That big yellow thing represents the inflow of solar energy, amounts to a bit, a bit more than 341 watts per square metre at the top of the atmosphere. That's the uh, best current measurement. And what happens to that radiation is something like this. Uh, a good bit of it bounces off clouds and other reflective things in the atmosphere. It doesn't get to the surface. And of the part that reaches the surface, um, some part is reflected off snow and ice and other reflective things down there. So there's a total reflected quantity, which is quite appreciable quantity, which never has anything to do with warming the Earth. Um, and then there's the absorbed portion made up of two parts, the part that gets to the surface and is absorbed by uh, the variety of surfaces there, water and vegetation, land, uh, and then there's a, uh, an appreciable amount absorbed in the atmosphere, mainly by uh, water vapour and other absorptive elements in the air. So the total for that quantity is 239.4 watts per square metre. So that's e Earth's energy income. When we turn to its um, expenditure, things get interesting. If, if the Earth was constituted like the Moon with no atmosphere, then all of that 239.4 watts would escape straight to space. But it doesn't. The quantity that does that is quite small. It's 40 odd watts represented in that narrow atmosphere. Uh, in climatology that's called the atmospheric window. So this radiation gets right through the atmosphere and uh, joins the flow to space. But what about the rest? Well, there's a sizable flow from convection and uh, the latent heat of evaporation. A lot of that finishes up in the clouds. So this is a transfer from the surface to the atmosphere, not to space. And then there's this very odd thing where the atmosphere acts as a large radiation source sending radiation back to the surface. That's uh, part of a, um, a circulation, if you like, of large energy flows up and down in the lower atmosphere between surface and, and um, the troposphere. The net result is that Earth radiates from the top of its atmosphere, where the air is much colder. And when you put the components, radiation from clouds, radiation from greenhouse gases at the top of the atmosphere and, and the atmospheric window, it comes to an output of 238.5. That's our best estimate at the moment. And so the net result is a positive energy balance of close to 0.9 watts per square meter. There's a margin of error in measuring this. It's something between um, about 1.2 and 0.7, but uh, that, that's a, a fairly good estimate.